Today I want to enable voice response for my AI agent. Last week we made an agentic workflow that was able to manage my GTD database in Notion, which is just a fancy way of saying my task list. We were able to leave it text or voice message in Telegram, which could equally be WhatsApp. And today I want to make it so that if I do leave a voice message, I want it to respond with voice. Let's dive over into NAN and take a look. Over in NAN, and if you watched the previous video, then this workflow architecture will look quite familiar to you. If you didn't watch the last video, then please go back and watch it because you'll probably double my viewership just all on your own. The basic premise of this is we've got a trigger in a messaging application in this case telegram but it could be whatsapp and it's accepting either voice or or text input and then feeding that to the ai agent in the form of text because if it's a voice then we've transcribed it. The issue with this is that it's only responding in text to me on Telegram and if I use voice as the input then I want it to come back to me as voice. So let's just jump in and have a look at how to do that. Now I think the easiest thing to do is to use the switch seeing as we've already used the switch to decide whether it's voice or text on the input. So let's just grab that text input, copy paste, literally control C, control V and I chuck that over here and change the wiring on this so it doesn't go straight to Telegram. I'm just going to put this into my switch here pull the switch in. I'll drag the screen across a little bit. Because we've already got the labels for voice and text, we can put text straight through to the Telegram output already, nice and easy. Okay, so a couple of changes we need to make on the switch. The reason is the nodes are expecting input from the immediately preceding node. So where we've got this json.message.text, and it's in red, it's because it's expecting an input from the AI agent. So what we want to do is hit the drop down here for this switch and we want to just like the first switch we want to take the input from the telegram trigger so from the drop down i'll choose the telegram trigger and the last time i tested this it happens to be a voice input so let's update the expression for the voice branch here so i'll just delete that expression out altogether and i'll drop in the file id like i did on the previous video and you'll see that the syntax is a little bit different where instead of just dollars json i've got dollars and then in brackets the telegram trigger and that's how it is explicitly choosing which node to take the input from rather than just the previous node. So with that logic in mind I can copy that telegram trigger and the items and up to json dot and that json there is expressing essentially what this is here just dollars json. So if I in this expression up here just overwrite dollars json and then the rest of it dot message dot text is still valid. So if I now just go back to my canvas there and I'll test that workflow and hopefully it works so I'll go test workflow and then we'll just jump across over to telegram so here we are in telegram you can see i've been testing already so we'll record something what is today's date jump back over to my workflow and you can see that it's processing and as i had hoped it's gone down the voice branch there so i jump into that and you can see okay today it's got the response of today's date is february 26 and it's sending it down the voice branch perfect okay now it's not responded to me in telegram obviously because it's not wired up to anything so let's hook up next node so if i search for audio i want the open ai node which is going to be generate audio Cool, okay, so we've got the input from our previous node there. Our OpenAI credential is already connected because it was connected earlier in the workflow with the AI agent. And resource audio is fine. Generate audio is what I want to do. The default model is fine. And then the text input for my default audio is going to be the output from that switch. And the voice that I want to use is Nova. I listened to all these voices just before recording this and decided that Nova was sort of suited me the best, probably because I lived in the UK for 14 years, so it just seemed familiar to me. There's a couple of other options here which I find interesting. So audio speed, I tend to, to talk quite fast and I like to listen and study to audio and video quite fast. So quite often I'll set that to 1.1 or 1.2. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it on one and then I'll test that step. It's not actually worked, but it is wired up correctly. So I'll tell you what, let's just uh, come back out to the canvas. I'll send it another, I'll test the workflow again, and hopefully send data down there. What is today's date? So again, just doing that in Telegram off screen and we can see the workflow starting to run. And we've generated some audio, hopefully. Perfect, okay, so it's a file. So what we want to do is then go to our final node here and we'll go to Telegram and we want to respond with audio. So actually, let me just search for audio. There we go, send an audio file is what we want. Now the credential here is correct. So what we wanna do is go to our chat ID from the original Telegram node and find the chat and then ID and drag that in. We want to respond with a binary file because it is a binary file that we've got from the previous node. And I just go back to the drop down and go to the generate audio node, which I haven't actually renamed, so it's just still called OpenAI. And then with the binary file, there's actually nothing further that I need to fill in. So let's save that, we'll go back to the canvas. I'll tidy things up here, so I'll rename a couple of these things, just highlight the node and press F2. I'm gonna rename that generate audio, and I'm gonna rename this telegram response, which means that this is probably gonna be respond text. 
Okay, that all looks pretty tidy to me, so I'm happy to now test my workflow. So I'll just zoom out a bit there, drag that across. Let's go test workflow, and I'll jump back to Telegram, and I'll ask it what is today's date. We'll jump back to NA10, and we can see that it's processing it. Looks like it worked, and then back in Telegram, I've got an audio response, so if I hit play on that. Today's date is February 26, 2025. Great, so that's correct. Today's date is February 26, 2025. That's all I really wanted to show you today. If that's helped you, then great. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see, and hopefully next week I'm going to give my virtual assistant an orchestration layer so that it can manage this task as well as another task. Until next time, have a good one.